This is the view of the house from the sidewalk. My grandmother lives on the first floor and my uncle and his family live on the second and third floors. These right here are intercoms with a camera and there's a corresponding panel on the inside so you can see who's standing out here and talk to them. First I'm going to show you the patio. Here's a cherry tree and a Japanese decoration thing. The patio is where we keep our bicycles and where my grandmother hangs the clothes. Um, there would be more out here, but it's kind of damp outside. Here's my bicycle. Um, all the, bas the bicycles have baskets because it's very usual for people to um, do their grocery shopping. Uh, they do it more frequently than we do in America. So um, they don't have as many groceries, so it's a lot easier to just go on a bicycle. That and my grandmother does not even have a driver's license. She's always gotten around with public transportation or bicycle. All right, the front doors, there are two of them. The door on the right, well, okay. Both doors open onto the first floor, but the door on the left um, has stairs right on the inside of it for my uncle's family. And uh, they just go in the door and go straight up the stairs to the second and third floors. Um, but we're gonna go through this door. This is the door my grandmother and I use. This is where you take off your shoes and uh, hang up your coat and stuff. And if you want, you can put on these slippers if you feel more comfortable doing that. Oh, owls. Uh, four owls right here. My grandmother likes owls. You'll probably see more as I continue the tour. This is the living room. There's my grandmother reading the newspaper. Konnichiwa. <laughs> here are more clothes hanging up inside because it's drier in here. Here's a touchscreen computer. Um, telephone. Owls. This one, my cousin painted. She is a senior in high school. Um, here's a Japanese golfer, Ishikawa Ryo. He's a pretty big deal in Japan. This kanji, um, my cousin Tsubasa drew or wrote at school. And this, his younger brother Hikaru made. I guess it's the night sky. Um, here's the couch. I want to point out that the windows in my grandmother's house open up like this. Uh, they all do, basically. I guess that's, I don't know, standard Japanese window design. <sighs> Japanese remote. Has colors and it has two digit numbers. It's interesting, right? Um, there's a Japanese newspaper. A lot of kanji, maps, pictures, advertisements. A white guy looks like, or no. Yeah, I what he is. Family pictures on the table underneath the plastic mat. My family, more my family, Japanese family, Japanese family. Okay. My medicine, because I'm allergic to something in my grandmother's house, so if I didn't take it, my nose would be running all day, every day. More pictures on the little divider that separates the living room slash dining area from the kitchen. 
now we're in the kitchen. Let's see, microwave, sink. Um, there's no dishwasher here. I don't think there are any. I don't know if there are any dishwashers in Japan. Um, well, maybe this is a dishwasher. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, water heater, little microwave oven thing, a coffee maker, rice cooker. Uh, oh, this is cool. Inside of here, my grandmother makes homemade yogurt. I guess it, um, whatever milk does to make yogurt, curdles, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, some stuff, Japanese writing, recycled, milk carton, This is the trash pickup schedule. In Japan, you um, divide your trash and you put out different types of trash on different days of the week. And um, yeah, I don't know. But here it is. This is a better, um, more in depth explanation. And I'm um, not going to try to read that. Oh, we're going to showcase my brother's art. He was probably very young when he made these. At least I hope he was. The inside of a Japanese refrigerator. Milk. I prefer Japanese milk to American milk. Um, let's see what we have here. This is probably the smallest can of beer you've ever seen. Um, so most, a lot of these containers, like uh, kimchi's in here. Uh, uh, I think these are apple slices. This you put on curried rice. All of this are the little toppings you have with your rice. Sauces. of cake, soy sauce. Uh, Alright. Here's the pantry. Where my grandmother keeps her dishes. It's really I apologize for the darkness. But it's not as dark as it looks on this camera. Right here is a bathtub control panel. You press this to turn it on and I get, I'm assuming this changes the temperature that you want to set the bath water to and some other buttons that do things. Um, here are my jeans hanging to dry. Here's my room. I don't know what you would have called this room before it became my bedroom, but here's my bed. My clothes under there, my junk corner, the uh, air conditioner. Um, up here's a thing. I don't know what it is. Here's uh, another thing. All, pretty much all Japanese houses are going to have something like this little shrine here to kind of venerate the deceased. Here's a picture of my grandmother and her husband when he was alive. There's an old picture of two people who I can't identify. Um, It is very Japanese. I'll try to zoom in. Maybe you can make out. There's just a guy standing there with a halo around his head. Beer can. Jamaican bacon. Crown oil. Kind of offerings, I guess. Uh, this little bell. 
my grandmother rings every morning by hitting it with this rod. She bows her head, burns incense here in this tray. Uh, Alright, moving on. Oh, uh, dehumidifier. Um, this was only on for about for a couple hours today and it filled up that much but I've seen it get up to here some days here's some origami my cousin's made uh, drawing right, here's the uh, the intercom thing I told you about and the image of the person will pop up right there and this phone you can use to talk to the people on the second floor of the house. There you go. Uh, we're in the hallway now. Some things my grandmother has collected in her world travels. Pictures of her while she was out and about. There's the Eiffel Tower. More family photos. Christmas card type things, Egyptian, uh, I guess my grandmother's zodiac is Aquarius. In the toilet, this is going to be fun. First, that was. Next, the toilet. On top of the toilet, there's a sink. When you flush, Water comes out automatically. On the handle, there are two kanji here. This one means small, this one means big. Um, I've just assumed so far that this is for one and this is for number two. But I'm actually not sure if the arrows mean big, you point it in the direction of the arrow, or big you that's the, the part that I don't know. I, anyway here is the control panel for the toilet this means stop this sprays water on your rear end this I haven't used but I'm assuming it sprays it on your downstairs mix up and there's some other buttons uh, I don't fiddle around too much with that. Uh, okay. Now the laundry room slash bathroom. Here's a washing machine. I think that's a dryer and it doesn't get much use maybe in the winter when it's too cold to hang clothes up. Um, normal looking sink area. Here's the bath room. And when you take a bath in Japan, what you do is you shower to clean your body and your hair, and you rinse off all of the dirt and soap and stuff. And then you get in the bathtub for a, uh, a soak. And that's really all you do in there. You don't wash yourself in the tub. And here's the, uh, another bathtub panel. Identical to the one in the living room. Uh, here's some Japanese stuff. There's some mustard bath. Uh, last stop on the tour is this guy. No, not really. The very last stop is my grandmother's bedroom. I'm not gonna poke around in here. The tour of the second and third floors will come later.